Hi! I know it's been a while, so I'm so excited to come back and do January for your sign. Um, where I've been, I will, when I have some time, make a longer, more intensive video about that, if you care. But I think most of you just kind of want to know what's going on for my January. So this video is going to be a little bit longer. I had out my pendulum. I had out, like, seven or eight different decks of cards. I had out, like, even some, like, astrology dice. Um, so there's a lot in this video. And I will also uh, put somewhere on my website a little cheat sheet to help you get through the month. It's going to have your lucky days. It's going to have your unlucky days, the general theme. Um, what else does it have in it? Oh, of course your power crystal, your power color. It's going to have affirmations, which chakra you want to focus on this month, how you can spiritually evolve, blah, blah, blah. It's like the all-encompassing January. Like, get you off on the right foot right out the gate for this brand new year. So I'm so excited to do this for you and let's just get into it. I keep forgetting to mention this, but for those of you who um, don't know, if you go to my website, and there's like a link in the description box below, you can sign up to win a free reading every month. And so like you just sign up once and you're automatically in the drawing forever style. And so I just wanted to let you know. Libras, welcome to January. So I really want to start with this one here. So this is kind of your theme of the month. And it's Ten of Cups. This one specifically is about fulfillment. Now, I want you to notice a, the triangle here. Okay, the sun is shining. It's happy. It's joyous. You've got all of these cups and love is at the top. And love is just like pouring down all of this um, joy and contentment onto the cups below it. Now, think about this like it's a pyramid, right? Like the Maslow's Pyramid. Like, okay, basic needs, blah, blah, blah. Um, same thing with the chakra system. It, you have to start at the bottom. You have to have your root basic needs met, then worry about our fears, then our confidence, then our heart chakra. And I want you to notice here, this is the same exact thing. Root chakra, sacral chakra, um, solar plexus, sorry. <laughs> and then the heart. So this heart chakra is going to open up and just Pour all this love on these other things. But you have to have a very solid and strong foundation to begin with. And so when I was looking at, like, what is the thing that Libras should be doing as far as their spiritual hobbies go this month? Is it tarot? Is it, you know, um, rune stones? You guys get chakras. Isn't that perfect? Nothing's an accident. And what they say is to specifically focus on the root chakra, on that base, okay? Because if this isn't strong, can you build upon it? And then just have like this trickle down love effect where everything is beautiful and wonderful. No, you can't. You know why? Because if you pull out one of these cups, everything's going to topple. Okay, so we're going to start working on our chakras this month. This is going to be our focus. But we're going to really work hardest at our root, at our foundation. And this is in regards to like um, just our basic needs, right? Like our money, our wealth, our place to live, our job. Oxygen, food, that sort of a thing. That's where your focus is going to want to be um, before you move on to like facing your fears or feeling confident and showing a lot of love to others. So it's interesting because I feel like you're not, you don't really have that many fears that you are unaware of. It's like the fears that you have, they're in the forefront of your mind. You kind of know how to deal with them. Um, it seems like this month, but it's really about finding the confidence to deal with them. And so that's bringing us to our next card here, our color energy of the month, which is this bright cyan, this bright blue color correlating to the throat chakra, now that we've dealt with the other ones. Um, and it says, build your confidence. Now, why is this important? Because it's a three and a five. So, you know, basically spirit is saying anything that seems challenging or hard for you is actually a lesson for your benefit. Feel confident that you can achieve because a three and a five creates an eight, 
okay, which is about abundance, and it's about manifestation of the things that you want, and it's about getting them quickly, and so we're going to want to focus on, you know, the way that we're communicating, so um, we want to make sure that we are communicating compassion. We want to be um, demonstrating the language of the heart by actively sharing and living in love. So it's like if you're, and you see how all of the chakra colors are represented here. And so basically what it's saying is like, if you're not communicating in a loving way, if you're not treating yourself with a lot of love and compassion as well, um, you're not going to be experiencing this kind of joyful, fulfilled energy this month. And other people are going to notice that, okay? So we want to be this, like, kind of radiating love for ourselves and others, communicating that verbally or in, um, like, a handwritten note or something. So they're saying, like, yes, this month going to be awesome. It really is, okay? If you're able to find your confidence, to communicate with other people, to communicate, you know, with your higher self, with your inner self, and looking at things from the bottom up so that you have a strong structure to build your 2019 upon. Okay. But so they're saying, like, there will be challenges. Yeah? Um, and the challenges is where we find our affirmation. It's saying, I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. Absolutely. Because it forces us to go back and look at things you know, from the bottom up so that we can build something better and more beautiful. It's kind of like the tower card. Like if one of these were to tip over, everything falls down. So we've got to have that strong base. And so, but we can look at this, um, like at our own lives and our mistakes and what it is we want to do different, compassionately and lovingly. Okay. So now we've just got to work on building our confidence to achieve the things that we want to achieve. That being said, um, what kind of challenges will you be facing this month? And it says um, most of the challenges are in regards to kind of like your home life and um, achieving this like balanced state of affairs, <laughs> like where everything is good and stable. But that just makes sense with our root chakra, doesn't it? So as I mentioned, um, I rolled some astrology dice, so I'm not saying this is what's in your astrological chart because I don't do astrology, but I'm saying there are astrological themes that might be um, occurring for you this month, okay? And so what these are, are um, you had the moon twice, um, which represents like your intuition, okay? It's like secrets, it's your deep emotional truths and stuff like that, and you have it twice in the second house of money and possession. So when we're talking about building our confidence, it's about building our confidence um, in ourselves, in our higher selves, in trusting our intuition. And that very well correlates to your crystal of the month, which I'll get to in a minute. Um, so you're really going to want to trust yourself, okay? You're going to want to trust your instincts because this is how we're going to build that base, how we're going to meet our basic needs. If you have this gut feeling like this is what you should do, oh, I think I need to quit my job. Oh, I think I should take this opportunity. Maybe it doesn't make logical sense and Libra is a logical person, right? But you really have to trust your gut instincts this month that you're going to do the right thing for yourself because that's how we're going to build that strong base. And what they're saying with that one, as well as the Four of Wands card, is it's like in regards to our base to our basic needs, to our food, our money, our possessions, our wealth, our you know long-term planning for the future. Um, also, you have Pluto, which is like burning away old things, what you've outgrown in the first house of like personality, how you appear to other people, how they perceive you, okay? So maybe... People are perceiving you a little bit differently than they used to, and that's okay. You should still be confident moving forward, okay? You should still authentically be who you are, and if people see you differently than before, whatever. That's their business, not yours. What other people think has nothing to do with you. You have to be authentically you if you want to achieve this, like, overflow of love and joy and whatever. If people have shit to say, then you can express compassion to them in sort of a passive aggressive way right where you're like okay well I'm sorry you feel the need to share those opinions with me <laughs> right because it doesn't it shouldn't affect you 
This is about um, your own confidence and being self-assured so that you can really experience all the joy and fulfillment that January has to offer you. You're the only sign that really has that has this like really exciting card this month. So good for you. I hope it goes awesome. And then um, you have this Jupiter energy, which is like expansion and luck in the house of society, friends, your wishes and your hopes. So if you're confidently building that base and communicating what it is you want to the universe, you should receive it. You should be overflowing with joy, love, happiness, all of that stuff. If you look at these challenges and you let them burn away with that Pluto energy, This could be a really good month for you. So, you know, when we're talking about letting um, certain people or friendships like society kind of burn away from you, well, what you're doing is creating a space because you have luck and you have expansion in the house of like friendships and things like that, you know, and achieving what it is you want, all this joy and fulfillment. So don't be afraid to let go of things. If things are challenging, you can just say, fuck it, you know. And, and step into a new light confidently. So there's that. Um, your crystal of the month is peacock ore, which comes in a blue and a purple. It comes in a lot of different colors. So peacock ore is um, pretty famous for a lot of things. It's basically like a fix your entire life kind of crystal. Um, that's the joke that I often make about peacock ore. So anyway, this one will help to give you greater insight to help you follow this intuition um, that you'll be expressing, right? Where you'll want to be confident with that. And look, it's kind of picking up some of that color. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love it. But then, you know, like the purple also represents the intuition. So it's going to dissolve energy blocks that you have. It increases your self-esteem. Um, hello. And then what else does it do? We already talked about intuition. Helps you to be grounded with that root chakra alignment. And um, it gives you this like sense of calm and peace and soothing. It does a lot of other things that you can look up on my website. You can also get one from my website or from your local rock shop. Um, But that's your January, and I can't wait to see you in February. Bye. I think I forgot to mention what your lucky and unlucky days were. (laughs) Sue, I'm sorry. Your lucky day of the month has already passed. It was January 1st, and it's January 2nd as I make this video. My apologies. But I will let you know your unluckiest days of the month, which are the 5th and the 7th. So if there's something, like maybe you have a casino trip planned for the 5th or the 7th, see if you can move it a week back. Okay, that's it. Love you. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20-minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!